She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. The same curve. I always run over that. It's called cookie and it's like French food. I was craving French fruit, French food. Oh, you have to assemble your own soup. Oh my God. I don't feel like doing this right now. Okay, it's in a bag. Like, could you not just... Oh my god. It's not baked. I'm really annoyed right now. How am I gonna eat this? So I ordered French onion soup, mashed potatoes, and a French-style pasta. Let me just... So this is a classic French pasta. So it has Emmental and French cream and black pepper. It looks like macaroni... Um, it looks like... Oh. Oh. I'm confused. Am I supposed to put this, oh, French cream? So it's literally just cream and butter and cheese. So I'm gonna also put these croutons and this crispy cheese inside and see how it tastes. What are you talking about, Kiki? Like, what the hell are you talking about? Go away, who's eating pets? Hmm? Okay, French onion soup. I hope Salah knows that many of his beezers like him and accept him as he is. There will always be haters, but people who really care for Chantel will care about Salah also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and if you don't approve of our relationship, I don't really care. You, you're not, you don't pay my bills. You're not, you know, no offense, but... And he doesn't need your approval either. Thank you. There's people in this community who have done a lot shittier to a lot, to a lot of other people. So they need to shut up and stop being judgmental. I'm eating it because I want to get my money's worth. That's why. I'll pin your comment for a while. Yeah, go for it, babe. I've forgiven my husband for some terrible stuff. It is what it is. Marriage takes work and compromise. Yeah. Exactly, Krista. Like, people think, like, marriages should just be thrown away over stupid shit. Like, love is not a feeling. It is a choice of commitment. It's something you work on. Yeah, you have to have, like, the initial feeling there. You have to love the person, you know? But it takes, like, the relationship takes work. A relationship cannot only survive on love. And it's complicated. It's not black and white. So to sit there and say, oh, see? This person doesn't love you because of this. No, because, like I said many times, I've cheated so many times. And I've always loved the person that I was with. And so it's like, you know, it's not that black and white. People don't understand. Do some growing up and then come talk to us. And anyway, it's my, it's, a, it's my personal life. It's my personal choice. Um, I would have preferred not to have any controversy like that on the internet. Obviously, people who find that kind of thing entertaining and funny um, are sick in the head. I really don't know what to tell you. So that's that's just insane to me that somebody sits there going <laughs> and doing what they do. Like, I don't I don't understand that because I'm not that, a shit person like that. I'm not a crappy person to do that to someone. So, yeah, whatever. I mean... Like, okay, you got me, I'm moving on, bye. You can stay in the past with the stinky farts and I'm moving on, baby. Yeah, and at the end of the day, Salah is very supportive, always so concerned with me. And I know he loves me and I know he's sorry and I know he's super handsome and I know we have a good future together if we work on it. So yeah, you hear the rain, sweetest love of the 10th degree. Oh, be quiet, Drago. Like, do I come for people's past first? No, when, who? Oh, hi, Shani and Rev. Yikes. Um, honey. When I come for someone's past, it's because they come from my past all the time. And I don't go out of my way to go message married men, number one. I would never be a shitty loser to do that. I've learned, I've, ne I've done shitty things in my past growing up. I would never, ever, ever. And I know people are gonna say, oh, the Turkish dance, I've already explained that. I would never do that. Now I've grown as a person, that's all that matters. I would never do something like that for entertainment. Or I would never like, I don't know, have a channel discussing how someone's laying in bed and their crap, ha how their habits of crapping. The pattern that their bidet makes when they leave the bathroom, like grow up, like really, like how can you find that entertaining and not think, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not winning in life. What limit, what does it take? What does it take to take the L for you guys in Gore World? Take the L. You're now excusing friggin' under, Scabba Underground's friggin' naming her dog after her baby daddy being a friggin' pedo. Take the L, like you're just going too far. Like seriously, what the heck, man? Anyway, cause you're not affecting my life. You're just like, you're just destroying Gore World. You're all crap and it's all coming out. Like, seriously, wallah. And I accept it as part of being a YouTuber. I accept that there's always going to be shit people like that. And you're, there's nothing you can do. I've accepted it as part of the job, but I still, I feel like I still have a right to say some things once in a while. The problem is, yeah, it's not worth my attention. I, know. I wasn't using gay as an insult. I was waiting to see if someone would say something like that. Because 
I was just asking if he was. Because, like, in my mind, like, it just blurted out because I didn't really, I wasn't, like, is he really? Like, I never had that confirmed. I guess not that it matters, but I'm just curious. Like, every human being, you know? Because they deleted it because I wasn't using that as an insult. That's how you took it. That's not what I meant. That's not my problem. My husband stepped out way worse than so. And we're moving forward. 14 years of marriage isn't worth a fuzzy when he was shown. He made a mistake and has worked to make it right. Yeah. Yeah, it was a serious question. Exactly. Like, I was really, like, because, because my brain changes topics so quick, like, without even, like, an intermission, you know? So my mind went from, like, insulting him and then right to, like, wait, is he gay? Like, not knowing if he was gay or not. I don't give a crap. I brought it up because I was curious. I asked. I don't care as in, I mean, I'm not affected by the answer. I'm, I don't love this trip. I'm miserable. I'm still here, Drago, because I have a return date on my ticket. And I might have to, I'm going to change it, though. If I do change it, it's going to be even longer. The only pro I, I, <laughs> by an extra week, I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Who cares? Let's just live in the now. The future is stressing me out. Okay, I also have a disclaimer for tonight's show. Don't take anything, anything you see in today's show personal, because it's not like that. It's just for banter. What, Kim? Like, what? Like, this is the thing, okay? My dilemma. Look at Kim Richards' comment. My V is so dry. Now, I have an entire audience, okay, who back in, like, even two years ago, babe, before I met you, this comment would have been premium quality for like in my brain because it's so like this is how I was so I attract like-minded people we all bees right and they're all weirded out because I'm modest now <laughs> and I don't talk about those things so I'm trying I try to find a happy medium you know I don't know it's so hard ah I have a brownie <laughs> if it makes one a grape apologist if they accept his grape fetish no how if nobody's getting raped, if it's consensual fantasy, so what? I eat it with no milk. I am, I am bored, yeah. Because there's something bothering me and I don't know what it is. I feel like out of control of my life in a bit, in a way, sometimes. I don't know how to explain the feeling. I hate it though. And when I go to bed at night and I close my little eyes and I stream, they like to rub that feeling. Whoever runs the dream factory in your brain likes to rub in the traumatic or like the negative things. You ever notice that? Go home. No, it's not. It's not just easy like that. You can't just go home if you're in another country. You know, like why? I should tough it out. I should try to have fun. I shouldn't be such a sour puss. You know, it would be good for me. It would be a win-win. Did you say that there was a creator named Sansa Cooks, who who does videos like uh, made pandan rolls? Is that true? Bitch, I lost two kilograms within two weeks. Send me a picture of your food, babe. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Seven Eleven bees are like. That's like an example of like person who actually like puts like some thought and like care into their videos it seems like you know like just when people say like you know like it's a good idea like to if you're gonna like make videos off of an internet character you know um something like that is creative because you're making that's cool like you're making a recipe from you know and you're giving information that maybe i don't give or so it's like comp kind of complementing my con content not doing having the opposite effect you see what i'm saying hi energy you guys know who MFW is? I'm not like exactly like her, but she's also an Aries and I'm an Aries and we're very fiery and her, and the way she angers at her audience, I'm not as bad. Like I don't, you know, yell racist things and stuff, but. You're a lie. You're a uh, lie. That kind of explosive anger, like, I don't know. I'm just like a bitch sometimes. I can't help it. I get annoyed easy sometimes. I'm not having a bad time, but I am, let's say, some, I'm coping, <laughs> you know? I do want to get the new iPhone. But, I don't know. Why do I look like this? I need to, like, do something about skincare. <laughs> this is horrific. It's like thundering. I'm in Bangkok doing weird makeup to 700 people. Like, very weird. My eyes are so red. My allergies. From being sick, like... It's so bad. <laughs> I like that I, ha I actually like the, like sort of a benefit of sleeping alone. Um, not that I like to do it, but I like it's a king size, so I can like put my body here, put some random stuff over there. You can't see me at all. I don't like the light on. No, I don't like my nose. Look at from the side. It's like a weird shape. <laughs> so, what's going on? <laughs> Let's talk about something. Anyway, I finally feel like no anxiety right now. 
Well, you know what I mean. Like, I like to have fun, so. I'm not mumbling. I'm just tired. I'm, yeah, I'm congested. I'm not slurring. I'm drowsy. I'm drowsy because I took the medicine for my flu. <laughs> and I think there's something in it for nausea, anti nausea. So it makes me drowsy. I'm so relaxed. No, William, I'm not showing you the medicine. It doesn't matter what I took. <laughs> what was in that brownie? Like, I, I know, like, I made a mistake. The food I ordered was more expensive and it's not filling. So now I want to eat something else. I'm very, uh, I'm just relaxed. I'm fine. No, I don't know. Tracy, I'm so sorry. No. What? I love Tracy. I, I honestly don't do it purposely. I'm ignoring everyone's comments right now. I swear. I'm sorry. Because my mind is like everywhere. Sorry for that. Oh my gosh, gravy pizza would be so good right now. <laughs> Ugh. I'm stealing it in different countries, you know. <laughs> sorry, I'm boring. I'm seriously so freaking drowsy. I'm so tired. Because you don't understand. I have bad anxiety so <laughs> like really bad bye guys